All right. Hey, what is up, everybody? CJ Hawkins here. Welcome to Monday Night Retro Gaming. And tonight I am playing WWF Superstars for the arcade console. So this is going to be the last game I play in the year 2022 of Monday Night Retro Gaming. And then we're going to move on to 2023. I hope everybody had a good uh, holiday. And um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah. Whatever you're celebrating this holiday season, I hope it went well. Um, yeah. So with that being said, let's get right to the game. So before WrestleFest, we got WF Superstars for the arcade console. I believe it was only in Europe, I think. So I'm going to play as the Mega Powers. Yeah. So, this is all live in New York City's Madison Square Garden. Oh yeah, time to get it on, all right. So all this is is tag team matches, and you, you're, the main bosses are the tag team champions, the Mega Bucks, which is Ted DiBiase and, and um, Andre the Giant. I almost said IRS. I was thinking of Money Incorporated. Because that was the well-known tag team back in the early 90s. Come on, warrior. Ha <laughs> ha! Got you, dude! Smashing people in the head with a freaking table and stuff. That's freaking awesome. We were getting there with the hardcore stuff, but in the 90s, it got better with the hardcore stuff. I really think that ECW really took it to a whole new level. So did uh, Japan Wrestling, FMW and uh, IWA Japan. Like, they took Extreme to a whole nother level. They were more violent than ECW, to be quite honest. There we go. Damn. Macho Man beats the big boss man with a flying drop kick right across the jaw and knocked out the boss man. I got a long side burst and a hair set back good to your Tim. In the 80s, he was a freaking draw, but 96, 97, he couldn't draw a dime, bro. Freaking loose wing shoes, freaking idiot. <laughs> I'm not sure if you ever heard of this uh, report with Eric Bischoff one time. He said that if there was one person that he was glad to fire and had the pleasure of firing was the freaking hockey talk man. He would fire him every day of the week, twice on Sunday. He gets excited, like, it gives him excitement to fire the hockey talk man. You want to talk about a hater? That's a hater. Oh, 
Talky talk, man. Give me those kicks. Ugh. You ain't falling for it. Okay, whatever. The elbow drop. One more victory to get to the title match. It's time to get it on. Boss Man and Duggan. I guess that's the remix of freaking Hockey Talk Man. Arcade style. Fly drop kick, brother. I learned that in Japan. Fitz McMahon didn't want me to use that, brother. Headbutt by the boss, man. So this is when Big Boss Man was a tag team wrestler with Hakeem, uh, and his manager was Slick. Then, like around 1990, he turned good. He betrayed Slick and Ted DiBiase when they were trying to get the Million Dollar Belt from Jake the Snake Roberts. on the brother love show not bad for old timer <laughs> One, <laughs> freaking Jim Duggan just uh clotheslines him shoulder clothesline style oh he got backdrop over the top rope and onto the floor go over here brother Boss man's like, I ain't gonna fall for that. What am I, an idiot? Oh, this game's a lot of fun. It really is. But I like WrestleFest better, though. I don't hate this game, it's just that... I prefer WrestleFest, WrestleFest better. Oh. 
<laughs> Macho Man just hit Hacksaw with a freaking broken table. Oh no. Alright. So our final our final match is going to be against Ted DiBiase and Andre the Giant. themselves challengers to your world championship belt. No one can beat Mega Bucks. I'll put you to sleep with my million dollar dream. That does not sound like Ted DiBiase. It's time to get it on. That does not sound like Ted DiBiase and me, Gene Orkelin. Who is doing the voiceovers? I will put you to sleep with a million dollar dream. <laughs> no one can stop the Mega Box. So this was from some. I guess it had. Uh, this game came out like after SummerSlam '88. Because that was like probably the only time that Ted DiBiase and IRS teamed up. Ooh, yeah, I'm doing the giant, but it's just right in your jaw, yeah. Yeah, you're not gonna backdrop Andre the Giant. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna let the Hulkster take care of Andre the Giant. Hold on. There we go. Boom! Right across the jaw. <laughs> Andre's just slapping Hogan around. It's like that's the only thing I could do to Andre the Giant. Freaking tough as nails. And they did it right with Andre the Giant. They didn't make him look like weak or anything. Like, he is tough as nails in this game. Tag it in the million dollar man. Everybody's got a price for the million dollar man. Oh, he's put me in the million dollar dream. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. I ain't gonna put you over, dude. Why is Ted DiBiase kicking my ass? This is ridiculous. Jeez. Really, DiBiase? <laughs> Everybody's got a price for the million dollar man. This is ridiculous. Oh, no table. I guess Ted DiBiase paid off the uh, the ring crew not to put around tables to have a fair match. Okay. That's a good investment.
Damn, this is ridiculous, man. There we go. Ah, it's free group. After I beat these guys, and I'm gonna call it a day in this game. I'm not going through the entire game. Wrestling the same opponents in the same scenarios. Leave it to the Hawkster. Oh. Oh. And Andre the Giant just hits Hogan like a mat truck. And he slapped him right in the other side of the ring. I wonder how much money uh, these wrestlers made. Maybe Hogan made more than everybody. I wouldn't be surprised. Same thing goes with WrestleFest. And other wrestling games. Oh, that was awesome. That was freaking awesome. They're this top. game uh, this is so difficult 
it is really frustrating this game. Man, that's a freaking slow count if you ask me. Almost. Great. Andre the Giant again. Oh, he got him! Andre's getting weaker. Andre the Giant is not looking good, folks. He got him! Leg drop! He can do this! One! Two! Oh, really? <laughs> that would have been awesome. That's robbery, man. He almost had it, too. Come on, come on. Okay, Yossi is just as fresh as a daisy. Oh, no way, brother. We're gonna kick your ass, brother. One, two, ah, oh, really? Hail to the new Tag Team Champions, April 1st, 1989. I'm pleased to present you with this championship belt. Ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're not going all over the tour. That's pretty much it. April 1st, 1989. What else happened in uh, April of 89? Oh, yeah. Macho Man was defending the, the WF title against Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 5, where the Mega Powers exploded. <laughs> April 1st was on a Saturday, I believe. Yeah, because in 1990, WrestleMania 6 took place in, on April 1st. So it had to take place like around, I think, April 2nd, I think. I, I don't remember. Whew. 
man, oh man, oh man, oh man. The game was awesome. I'll admit, it was an awesome game, but WrestleFest was a lot better, though. But it was still a lot of fun. Why I highly recommend playing WF Superstars on the arcade. If you can find it, play it, enjoy it. Yeah, I would definitely recommend playing this game. This game gets two thumbs up, in my opinion. It was a lot of fun. Um, the graphics were great at that time for an arcade game. Even though around that time we were playing NES and Sega Master System, yeah. And the Genesis was coming out later that year in 89. So 89, the WF, I thought it was a pretty good year for them, but I thought the wrestling in WCW was a lot better than 89, but that's just my opinion. But still, the WF had a successful year in 89. A really successful year. So, all right, guys, that about wraps it up. I hope everybody enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and favorite. This has been Monday Night Retro Gaming, and have a happy new year. See ya.